So this is my review of the Shams outlines on linear algebra. And this is the sixth edition, but this review can basically apply to any edition of this book. Now, as you can see on the bottom right here, this book can basically be used for the following courses, but really it's mainly attended for a first course in linear algebra at the college level. And I'll explain to you why that is in a little bit. Now, one of the main reasons people might want to buy this book is because of this right here. So 612 practice problems with step-by-step -step solutions. So it's not just 612 answers with problems, but it's also basically a walkthrough of those 612 problems. So if you go ahead and look at the table of contents here, we start with chapter one. Now each chapter, uh, there's about, I believe there's yeah, 13 chapters, and each chapter is broken up into separate sub-chapters. So we have chapter one, which is vectors in R and CN, so just an introduction to real numbers and complex numbers. Then we have chapter two, algebra of matrices, systems of linear equations, vector spaces, linear mappings, linear mappings and matrices, and then chapter seven's inner product spaces and orthogonality. Now chapter eight is going to be on determinants, followed by diagonalization, and we have canonical forms, linear functionals in the dual space, bilinear, quadratic, and Hermitian forms, and then finish off with linear operators on inner product spaces. So chapters one through, basically chapters one through nine, diagonalization is basically going to pretty much going to be the contents of a first course in linear algebra. Now chapter 10, 11, 12, and 13 are going to be in a more advanced course or for a second course in linear algebra. And so in a first course in linear algebra, it's more going to be about computational problems, calculating determinants, or solving a system of linear equations. But in a second course, it's more theoretical with a lot more proofs and you're working with more theorems than doing like simple computations. And so this book offers a lot more computational problems. So that's why I would say it's more designed for a first course or for learning a first course in linear algebra. Now, if you want to learn a little bit more advanced linear algebra where it deals with more theorems and proofs, where you're taking a second course in linear algebra at the university level, I would definitely recommend Linear Algebra Done Right by Sheldon Axler. And this is specifically designed for a second course in linear algebra. And basically this book is more comprehensive than the Shams in terms of learning the content for a second course. Now I'm about a third of the way done reading this book, so once I'm done then I will definitely review this one. And then at the end we also finish off with the appendices and the index. So the structure of each chapter in the book is fairly straightforward. We just have starting with the chapter title and then we have the subsections. So for example 1.1, we have 1.2, and then 1.3. And then we go on and on. So the lectures for each subsection or each subchapter are fairly short. They're about a page each. And then once you finish that, then you'll move on to the section on solved problems. So this is where the step-by-step -step solutions are to each problem. And there's a handful of problems. So it goes on and on. And each set of problems is sort of organized under a subchapter. So the dot product or the inner product is going to be problems 1.7 to 1.15 and then it goes on for different sections and then after you're done with the solved problems there's also an extra section on supplementary problems so these ones don't have or these ones don't offer these step-by-step -step solutions but they do have answers to each problem um, after that so the section on answers to the supplementary problems so overall because it has so many different problems with basically walkthroughs and solutions this is a great book for learning the contents of a first course in linear algebra. And this book also serves as a cheaper alternative compared to most other linear algebra textbooks, because I believe on Amazon, this should be around like 20 to 30 bucks. And that's it for the video. If you have any questions, comments, or have any recommendations for a first course in linear algebra book or a beginner level book on linear algebra, feel free to comment that below. And I hope you found this review helpful. Thank you for watching.